Usahau kusubscribe, ku comment, ku like na kushare ili kuwa kwanza kupata habari mbalimbali mbali kutoka Dutton Four Media. Mimi Somba na hii ni Soka Base ya Dutton Four Media. Niko na Tabo Zulu. Huyu ni kutoka nchini Afrika Kusini. Ndizungumze naye ni shabiki wa Mamelod Sundown. Atuambie timu yake ipoje hasa kwa upande wa mikakati kuelekea msimu ujao lakini pia zipo tetesi kuhusiana na mshambuliaji ambaye e, amekiwasha vizuri katika e, michoano ya kombe la shirikisho barani Afrika nikiwa na mzungumzia Ranga Chivaviro kutoka e, Marumo Garanti. E, zipo tetesi zinasema kwamba tayari amemaizana na Yanga na ameonekana akiwa na jezi ya yanga katika baadhi ya vipande vya video mbalimbali mitandaoni e, ukweli ukoje tabo zuri atatuambia karibu mafuta gad jaza mafuta lipa baadaye tabo njani ngona njani nyapila wewe na njani i'm impressed you know language nyapil <laughs> i'm just leaving asante asante <laughs> You're most welcome in Tanzania. Thank you very much. Uh, Tabo, what did you like the most in Tanzania? Uh, the weather, definitely. Uh, it's a, a bit of a more summer. It's very cold in South Africa. Yeah. I think this morning when I woke up, it was 2 degrees in South Africa. It was 23 degrees in Tanzania. Yeah. The food's quite good. Uh, I, I like the cuisine. Um, I, I like chapati and soup. I think I enjoy that quite often. It uh, it, it was my, my my breakfast. It's very strange to have a uh, uh, mbuzi for breakfast, but uh, but it was good. Yeah. I saw you on your on your WhatsApp status. You post mzuri. Uh, uh, yeah, I uh, I can't remember what that means. Mzuri <laughs> <laughs> just like a beautiful. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. yes. So, uh, people they said that uh, in Tanzania you can walk night by night uh, rather than South Africa. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Uh, very strange one. I always say, um, you know, I travel quite a few uh, African countries, and uh, I felt safer <laughs> in in other ca African countries than I um, uh, I feel in SA. People are, are very calm. Uh, there, there is no rush, and uh, yeah, you you tend to feel safe. You that, that that's hundred percent correct. Let's go back to the football issues. Um, first of all. Uh, Tell me a little bit about the football influence here in Tanzania. Well, I don't know much about uh, uh, Tanzanian football. I just supported them on the day when they were playing Niger and I picked the right team and they won. <laughs> I don't see a lot of uh, Tanzanian players in, in, in SA. Maybe I'm not following them very well. But they definitely don't play for the bigger teams or the so-called big f uh, a big three we have maybe we have, we have Abdi Banda there at Chip United. I, I so I learned yeah but that's what I'm saying I don't I, maybe I don't follow them too much maybe I'll start doing so now yeah. so um, you're a fan of uh, Marmelode Sundowns uh, we just want to know about the show background history of, uh, of Marmelode well uh, uh, one of the uh, teams or one of the big teams today you now, maybe not in terms of numbers and in, 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 in support. Uh, uh, Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates are, are traditionally uh, big teams and they still carry a big support base. Uh, they've done well over the years to to do the supports. But yes, my Melody Sundowns has been coming up over the last, uh, I'd say, the last 10 to 5 years, maybe behind the back door. Um, and, and of course, there is the, uh, you know, it stems from when Zola Mahobe took over the team. Uh, he did very well in, 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 in following the, the latest trend of the football. And Natasha, Natasha Chiklas took over the team and they did very well in spending and making sure that the team becomes the top tier. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Mr. Petrus Mutsipe bought, it, uh, bought the team from the Chiklas family. And he's, he's, he's up the game, if you could put it, you know, you sort of put it into a European standard uh, uh, as a bar to, to, to get to. And, and, and he's done very well um, uh, over the years, probably say in the last 10 years, I would say. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's made a team more professional. Uh, he's, uh, the technical team, is, 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 it's, it's got football people in it, so... So they drive the team and, the, and, and uh, into the right direction, and and I think it's it's shown over the last five or eight years because my Melody Sundowns uh, has competed in the CAF Champions League without fail for the last uh, 
five five years. I think they finished in the quarterfinals, and uh, of course the last one we saw they finished in the in the semi final. So uh, we're moving in the right direction. In last season, what went wrong? Well, I don't think uh, uh, it's easy to. To, to blame one uh, player and say he scored their own goal and then we're out of the uh, uh, Champions League, but I don't think that's that's the reason. In fact, by the way, the, 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 the same player had a very, very good game on, on the day. Uh, one uh, mishap, maybe lack of concentration, uh, he scored an own goal and, and, and we were out. But generally, they, I wouldn't say anything went wrong. The team played very well. Uh, they didn't lose any game uh, during the tournament. Uh, that, that's obviously a good sign. Uh, it's, it's it, okay. Again, it's it, it, it's strange. You know, the the best team that didn't win the that didn't lose any game are actually not in the final or didn't participate in the final. Uh, but yeah, the guys will go back to the drawing board, dust themselves up. I think it's a it's a good thing. In fact, for me, if nothing has went wrong. If anything that will happen in the last game against Widat is it, it, it's a wake up call that the game is ninety minutes. Plus the referee's optional time, so you have to play until the last whistle. So you said uh, the guy will, uh, will go back the, to the drawing board, but uh, tell us, uh, we know uh, in the football clubs they work as a team, but there is some masterminds. Who are the masterminds of the Mamelodi Sundown? Uh, from on a playing field, of course. I mean, the team works very well together. But yes, you've got some star players in there uh, now. I mean, uh, Temba Zwane is probably the orchestra or, uh, or the conductor of the orchestra he's oh, uh, and the captain uh, Ron, uh, Ronwen at the back I mean as a goalkeeper he's doing a fantastic job I mean uh, um, he's, he's grown leaps and bounds since joining my melody sundowns uh, of course I mean we, we've got a, a, um, a coaching team that's a, a three quartet being Mangoba uh, uh, Rulane being the head coach Mangoba and Steve Compella assisting him. And, 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 and I, I suppose we never see the team uh, when they're preparing, but I, I think they do well. I wouldn't like to single any player uh, uh, and say this player and that player is doing better than the other player. But yes, we, we do have a conductor in Timber Zone. Uh, Tabo, uh, always the football started from the grassroots. So uh, how have Mamelod been able to invest in your soccer and have many centers in the, use, in the country? I think they've, uh, how they've managed to do that is you, you've got a president that's not afraid to open up the pass. That's probably the first thing that you, you need because uh, uh, unfortunately we are in a modern game and uh, uh, you have to open up the pass to be able to, to invest. Uh, I know now they, they, they call joint in the sports science, so they, they, they concentrate even more not only on the playing side of the, of the player but in the development side of the, of the player, what he eats. Uh, 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 how do they need to develop an individual to be able to compete? So, uh, uh, and they do that throughout the whole um, uh, uh, team, starting from the juniors. And, and, and I think that uh, in, in the future, we're going to see the conveyor belt of Mamelodi Sundown starting to come through because of all those investments. So, uh, is investment in youth profitable in terms of promoting players to senior teams and also doing business with other clubs? Yeah, of course. I mean, if you look at it, uh, uh, we've brought in some couple of, of, of players from the youth. One, probably the shining star at the moment, is uh, Keishas Mailula. Um, he's a joint top goal scorer on the CAF, uh, and I think he's only 20 or 21 years old. Uh, there's another guy, boy as well, I forgot his name, but his surname is Nkosi. He also comes in um, uh, uh, from the youth setup. Um, uh, yeah, we've done good business. I mean, we've done good business with Temba Zwane. We also got him from a small uh, uh, team. They've done very excellent business from the Super Sport, uh, which is next door from Mamelodi Sundown. So, yes, the synergies between the other clubs is working well. And uh, what was the motive to formulate Sundown's technical bench set up? I think the motive is to take over Africa and become uh, the number one team in Africa. That's the goal. And I don't think Mamelodi Sundance is far from that team, uh, from that goal. Uh, Al Ahi used to be the feared team in Africa, but I think Al Ahi are scared to come to South Africa. They probably don't want to board on that plane because they know that they're, probably, they're not going to win in South Africa. So, uh, yes, so the goal is to become the most feared team and the number one team in Africa. 
Um, what would the management think about uh, hiring coaches with similar qualifications and have been able to afford to stay with them? Uh, uh, beef up your technical team because everything happens in the background. In the in a field of play, you've only got 90 plus, 90, 95 minutes plus reference team. Uh, but during the week, you've got the, uh, uh, the technical team that needs to be strong, motivate, train, coach. So I think it's a good thing. I mean, we see it again, like I said, you see it in Europe as well. I mean, there, there was a time where Man City had Ateta and Pep Guardiola in, in, in one team, and equally capable coaches. Thanks, Zulu. And uh, what is Sundown's strength in scouting based on? I think the Sundown strength in, in scouting is one, they've hired uh, ex-Mamelody Sundowns players who did very well for Mamelody Sundowns. And I mean, we've seen at the youth uh, cups, uh, Mamelody Sundowns was there to, to scout. So I think the strength in having more scouts traveling the country and the continent uh, and maybe even abroad has been a big strength. I mean, we can see in the shape of uh, uh, Alande, that we got, uh, that yeah, the Mamelodi Sundowns doesn't bring players just because they're players, they bring exceptional players. <laughs> and uh, uh, Sundowns have been able to find good players at the right age and uh, being the catalyst for Sundowns' uh, success, which uh, route differentiates uh, them from there. Look, uh, unfortunately or unfortunately, football now is for the youth, so you've got to have a, a, a view uh, uh, of, of recruiting young and, and have an average age of probably about 23 so that you can build them up to start winning around about 25. Uh, uh, it's a short career, so they're probably extinct at the uh, age of 30. So yes, the, uh, uh, the concentration on the youth is very key f to the success of the team. Let's, uh, let's open another, another, another chapter. Uh, what the secret behind of the deal of Ranga Chivaviro? I think that one is still in the air. Uh, the fans, <laughs> there's, so, there's, the, the, there's footages, there's rumors on social media. It's going to be difficult to comment. The season is going to start very soon, so no, I think but, we but should. We saw him with the younger Jays. Yeah, like remember, uh, Photoshop is also available. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, the video of uh, Ranga Chivaviro with younger Jersey and the location is in the uh, Tanzania. Well, like, fair enough, if, if Yanga has signed him, uh, I, I think they've got a gem. He's a very good player. I mean, he's got, what, 17 goals in the last campaign. Uh, he, he's got very good uh, qualities. If Yanga plays to his strength, they've got a gem in him. He's a very good boy. But, uh, you, you told me last time there are some teams uh, uh, signed him. Yes, uh, Richards Bay uh, uh, have uh, allegedly, maybe we should say, right with, allegedly signed him. But from South Africa, it's a team that probably yeah, came into the A-League last year and they managed to stay uh, or they managed to survive the chop, not go down. So they claim they own the player, they've signed in, and anyone who wants Ranga must come through them. But yes, we've seen footages of him being a, a younger player and uh, waiting to be unveiled. I'm asking you because um, uh, youngest president, he used to spoke with uh, some South African radio station at South Africa when they, 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 they went to play versus uh, Marumo Garanti. And uh, that president, he said that uh, we're going to sign a South African uh, player from Jan team. So that's why people, they connected. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, that's correct. In fact, it was on Radio Metro. I listened to that interview, I remember listening, to, I was driving home from work and I was listening to that interview, he didn't mention the name, you're correct, he did say we're going to sign a player from South Africa and it's not in one of the big teams, so chances are that's the truth and Ranga we're going to see him in a younger jazz. So definitely Ranga will be yellow and green. I wouldn't say definitely, I don't know, but if you connect the dots, maybe it's true. Mohamed Nasir Dinabi, uh, maybe he will be the coach of uh, Kaiser Chief. Yeah. yeah, no, definitely I've seen that. I think I, I could almost say I, I wouldn't want to because obviously I don't work for Kaiser Chiefs. It's not my team. But I think it's an open secret. Sometimes football is very bad in keeping secrets. Uh, and I think it's an open secret. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Mr. Nasir being unveiled as a new uh, Kaiser Chief coach for the next season. So let's finish it. Uh, tell us about the 
focus of Mamelodi Sundown, especially in Champions League and and PSL in next season. Well, I think on a, f the easy one is probably the PSL. The Mamelodi Sundowns got good quality behind them. Uh, you know, you never say we're going to win it, but uh, we're going to do our best to uh, uh, to defend the title again. And the big focus is still on winning the Champions League, and that one has been eluding us for the last five or six years. And I, um, my money is definitely on Mamelodi Sundowns winning it the next season. A joking question. You're in Tanzania for what purpose? I'm in Tanzania for work. Um, uh, I uh, sell equ uh, capital equipment and um, uh, uh, specifically I look after the forklift. So I supply the Toyota forklift into to Tanzania. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wana nimemaliza na tabo zulu kutoka Afrika Kusini shabiki na mdau wa soka eh, kutoka katika klabu ya Mamelodi Sundowns tumezungumza mengi kuhusiana na timu yake mipango mikakati ya msimu ujao kunako Champions League ligi kuu ya Afrika Kusini nikiwa namaanisha PSL pia eh, ameizungumzia kwa namna yake eh, tetesi kuhusiana na Ranga Chivaviro pia amezungumza eh, ameitaja timu ambayo pengine eh, wamefanya mazungumzo nayo amemsaini Richard Bay kutoka kule Afrika Kusini lakini pia ametaja uwezo wake eh, Ranga Chivaviro Viro amezungumzia kuhusiana na eh, tetesi za nabi kuelekea katika klabu ya Keza Chifu mengi ambayo tumezungumza ni kuhusiana na mpira kuhusiana na klabu yake ya Mamelod Sundown mimi naitwa Somba mwanzangu nyuma kamera anaitwa Festo Rumwe shukran sana kwa kuendelea kutufuatilia lakini salute mwanangu King Salu Salu Mpelembo kwa assist yako ya nguvu na kutosha mpaka katujao bye bye usahau kusubscribe ku comment ku like na ku share Ili kuwa kwanza kupata habari mbali mbali kutoka Dutton 4 Media.